higher means no in Turkish or yes, I don't remember and evet was yes I think so I wanted to do this video for a really long time and it stresses me out a little bit um, because I keep going back and forth with my thoughts about this topic but I thought why not share it with you guys and talk about it and discuss it let's light some candles though Alright, so let's just get into it. So what's up with my eyes, number one. Uh, number two, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my minimalist, a minimal waste journey, slash zero waste, plastic free, all of that. So let's get into it. Uh, number one, what's up with my eyes? Um, a lot of you by now know that I do wear contact lenses. Yes, I do believe that plastic is destructive to this planet, but unfortunately there isn't an alternative for everything yet. I tried to give up wearing lenses, but glasses are just not convenient, man. Like, they are the most uncomfortable thing, at least for me. I'm a very active person. I do yoga every day. I teach yoga almost every day. And I work out almost every day. So, being someone who's always moving, like glasses falling out of your face, and especially in dancing, it's just like not... Anyway, like, I don't want to complain and make it sound like, oh my god, first world problems or whatever. But... The way I think about it now is that I want to use my energy in the best way to serve the planet. Um, and after doing some research, I realized that contact lenses are only 25 milligrams of plastic. Uh, yes, nothing is better, but at the same time, like I don't, I don't throw them away after, after they are like they're done. I just keep them. They get dehydrated and they kind of like they're tiny. They don't like take any space. Anyway, so. Yeah, so the best solution that I found and the most comfortable solution that I found is these contact lenses. They're called, um, they come from a company called Anastasia. I think Anastasia USA. I'm gonna write it over here. Um, and the last six months, they're very comfortable. Like once I put them in, I forget that they're in my eye. Um, where sometimes contacts that last you a really long time tend to be uncomfortable but these are very comfortable yeah i do wear colored contacts like why not just get clear but honestly like if i'm gonna I, like i'm wearing contacts anyways because i have sight problems so might as well add some color uh and i barely wear any makeup like the only makeup i wear is like this tiny blush thing that i would put here and on my lips uh and the solution the bottle the, the solution that i use is recyclable um, and the company that I order my contact lenses from, it's called Iowa and they deliver pretty quickly to Saudi Arabia um, and the packaging is very eco-friendly. I mean, look at it, it's so cute. Uh, I would show you, I don't know why I did this. I'm just like trying to clear up. Yeah, so it's very cute, it's very eco-friendly. Um, I don't think there was any plastic in it just like paper, um, even like the cushioning is paper. So I really like that. And I'm gonna reuse this probably because it's just too adorable. Oh, and by the way, because I know people are going to ask me this, I don't know if I've mentioned it already or not, but the color that I use is called LA Mocha. And if you're going to throw away your contacts, please, please, please do not throw them through the sink. Cause I was like reading the pamphlet or what do you call it? Like the paper that comes with the lenses with instructions and stuff and they said that most people throw them through the sink and I was surprised like why would you do that anyway so and that harms um, sea creatures and one more thing because I know people are gonna tell me to get a LASIK surgery but honestly like I'm just really not comfortable having somebody poke around my eye I've heard from uh, friends experiences and stuff that it makes their eyes very dry and I live in Saudi Arabia and it's already very dry here and it dries out my eyes and the friends that I know like they end up using um, eye drops almost every day and that's gonna create a lot of waste like they, they, these always come in plastic so yeah oh one more thing uh, yes the solution that I use is also recyclable um, a lot of solutions are recyclable and the other thing is because I know somebody's going to mention this too, is that there's natural ways to fix your eyesight that I don't think they have been like scientifically proven or that they've been done on like large scales. But I am actually trying to experiment with that too. Uh, the one that I, the method that I'm trying to excuse to actually work. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So 
let's move on to the second part of this video and the plastic that I've been using lately, um, the struggles that I've been facing, and if I'm going to actually stick with this or not. Uh, this has been a lot harder than I thought, giving up plastic. You realize that it is in... I mean, I knew getting into it that it's in everything, but then I was like, whoa, no, it is in everything, man. Like, oh my god. And it's so frustrating, and then like, you're you're doing your best and you're trying and you're like okay no i'm not gonna buy frozen berries because those are on plastic and i really want them but whatever like get over it and then you like walk out the like the chat the cashier and you see somebody with like bazillion number of plastic bags and they don't even they don't even care i have to like keep motivating myself and keep telling myself that small actions add up and if no one starts like if no one starts to try to change their behaviors their behavior like nothing's gonna change so but yeah i do i do have my weak moments i do make, make mistakes sometimes but then i go back on track i'm like okay i'm just gonna keep doing my best i'm gonna give my uh, myself like some slack sometimes if it's the the only alternative i'm sorry i just like don't know how to put this in words it hurts so much because I know, like I thought I could do better, but then I, I couldn't. And then, especially with traveling, with traveling, it's really, it's been really hard to keep it minimal waste. I think what's important, like even like I know a lot of a lot of you watching this are also trying to reduce your waste. And I think what's important is that no matter how frustrated we get or how hard it gets, like number one, not to get frustrated because that's just gonna work against you and to forgive yourself is a big one and to forgive others too like i always try to remind myself that these people are not bad or they, they don't, they're not doing this intentionally um i mean most of them i think it's very important to forgive yourself and to forgive others um to be to be kind to yourself and to be kind for to others too it's not a fight um it's just we're just trying to do our best and what I really, really try to do and, and spread out is that to avoid being wasteful, you know, like like literally being wasteful, like using plastic or using waste, like producing waste in ways that is just not necessary at all. Um, and I think the world is going in that direction. I follow Green Matters when I get their newsletters all the time. They've been like so motivating because like always like whenever I'm like feeling down and like, oh, I'm just like, I'm just putting all this stress on me and it's not gonna make any difference. I'm just making my life difficult. And then I get an email from them and it's like, this country is going like green or this like state and like is going, is banning plastic bags or is banning plastic straws or something like that. And it's so motivating. So I do recommend that you sign up to their green, uh, to their newsletter. I'm gonna link it below too. So yeah, so I, what I've realized is that I can't do it alone um so what i've decided is that when it when there isn't an alternative to the item that's in plastic or that is plastic um uh, i will give myself some slack but then in return i will do something for the bigger picture what i want to leave you with this video is that whatever you're doing whatever you're trying to change whether it's something internal or external it's a learning process and you're gonna fall, you're gonna come back and I mean that's what it's been like for me um, I come to points where I'm like so close to giving up and then I get back onto it uh, Keep looking at the big picture I guess I'm gonna put everything in the description box so please always remember to look at that uh, And yeah, thanks for watching, love you all <laughs> Let me know, seriously let me know what you think in the, in the, in the comments and be kind uh, because I, I already feel so guilty about this I, I don't know i really don't know um yeah that's it let me just stop talking thank you so much seriously thank you love you all see you in the next one every day she sees a light fade away and pass her by what could she do